reports of a girl with cold black pits for eye sockets first emerged in the capital in the 1980s, but experts now say that she is back. The last sighting was just two weeks ago, and the paranormal investigator says he has been flooded with reports. One terrified traveler said he and his wife were waiting for the tube with their child when they heard the chilling sound of a little girl giggling in the tunnel. The traveler continues to our amazement. A child no taller than one meter in height appeared as if out of nowhere further up the track in front of us. We stopped dead in our tracks after noticing her eyes had no color. The investigator who did not want to be named said, I've received nine different reports in the last two years from seemingly credible witnesses. During interviews, most of their stories have been very similar. It comes after a recent surge in reported sightings of screaming black-eyed child ghosts across the UK. The ghost of Cannock Chase in Staffs has returned after 30 years. One of the haunted places is the area's Four Crosses pub. Ghouls have also been spotted frequently in Cannock Chase's spooky woodland. Legend has it they are the ghosts of three children murdered by car mechanic Raymond Leslie Morris in the 1960s. The recent ghoul sightings in the London Underground are not the first in the capital. As well as the black-eyed child being spotted in the 1980s, other ghosts are said to have haunted the tracks in various stations for years. In 2002, a 15-strong camera crew from TV's most haunted show spent 24 hours in spooky Aldwych Station after repeated reports of a ghoul walking the tracks.